Welcome to Partner Spotlight, Mr. Desi. Now tell us a little bit about this launch with uh, Emirates and uh, Aitken Spence Travels. I think it's a memorable day for Emirates Airlines as well as to Aitken Spence because uh, we went into a partnership with Aitken Spence because we believe that uh, Emir uh, Emirates Holidays has to be there as a standalone one because of the potential that we see in Sri Lanka and Sri Lankans traveling out. Initially, we decided to focus towards few countries. However, in the future, we intend uh, opening that to other countries also. Tell me a little bit about the travel trade sector in Sri Lanka. Travel trade industry, we have two areas. I mean, to me, it is the outbound travel that I, I consider because as Emirates, but if you look at uh, traffic both ways, we as Emirates have really promoted our country. Uh, we have Emirates Holidays brochure <coughs> promoting uh, Sri Lanka and we have a niche brochure in, uh, pr promoted in uh, the UK showcasing all the boutique hotels and up-end market uh, hotels in Sri Lanka. So that's a big thing for all of us. Could you give us some insight into Emirates? Emirates, as you know, uh, you'd have seen it in the newspapers at the air show. We managed to grab the, the, the largest order uh, at the air show. I mean, that's a huge, huge uh, stepping stone for us. And uh, since 86, 87, we have been growing at a very steady pace. As you know, if I focus only towards Sri Lanka, uh, from two flights a week, today we have grown into four frequencies a day and then flying into Singapore and then flying into Maldives. So it is a formidable thing into Sri Lanka, into our country, and we intend to uh, keep moving. What about the tourism sector, Mr. De Silva? Can you tell us a little bit about it? Tourism sector, I can see there is a year on, uh, on year a growth. Uh, we do work towards, uh, towards the tourism sector, we do work towards the target. I'm very confident if, if all the stakeholders get together and work towards that, we can achieve that uh, 2. 2.5 million, I suppose. Uh, by 2016 because uh, there is a turnaround of passengers we can uh, segregate them into short stay passengers and bring them here we can put them into long stay passengers so if we take all these uh, mixture of passengers and the customer segments yes we can achieve that but every stakeholder must work towards it. Future plans for Emirates? Future plans for Emirates I'm also still waiting to see what head office is going to tell us very soon we'll let you know. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you.